Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Robert Sharp. This is my first lab, and I want to take some time to tell you a little bit about who I am and what my plans are for this particular platform. I learned about Blab just last Wednesday. I, I am a host of a radio show called Bringing Inspiration to Earth, and it is on the Blog Talk radio platform. I've had it for just about five years and have just, just under 1,000 episodes on that platform. Last week on Wednesday, I had a guest from the UK. Her name is Ava Brown. And during that interview, Ava told me that she loves her blab. And I had absolutely no idea what blab was. So one week later, here I am, and I'm going to go ahead and use this platform for many, many things. Um, as, again, as I mentioned, um, I'm a radio host. And I will, um, one, of, one of my goals was to have uh, radio interviews and this, this platform is perfect for that. So in the upcoming months, you will also see, you will see some uh, interviews on here. I generally interview authors or, or subject matter experts in one of four different areas. They're either uh, spirituality, self-help, children's corner, or uh, environmental awareness. So I'll be having people join me uh, for inspiring interviews on those particular topics. Uh, one of the things also that I want to plan on having is uh, using this platform to uh, put together some instructional types of uh, videos and conversations. Uh, last year, one of my uh, projects was to become involved in learning about essential oils and their healing properties. And actually, I will be having upcoming a series of interviews with my good friend Peggy Langenwalter. And we're going to be talking about essential oils, how to use them, uh, what are some of the benefits, and then we'll be talking about some individual ones. Uh, that particular series is going to be 15-minute types of uh, instruction and information. So I hope that you will follow us and also follow uh, that particular series. Uh, one of the other things that I plan on doing um, is having uh, interviews uh, with, with, again, with authors, but also doing some book reviews. Over the past five years, I've read several hundred books, and uh, some of those books are absolutely fascinating and have helped uh, me with my life and doing things easier and better. So I'll be uh, doing uh, that, that as well. Uh, on, on my uh, radio show, every, about every few months or so, I have a, a very good friend, Gail Powell. She's an intuitive astrologer. And Gail always comes on to my show and talks about the current um, astrological happenings and ener energies. And so we, I hope that we will be having her um, as also as part of this particular series. Uh, one of the things that I would uh, invite you to do is that uh, you can go to my website, which is www.bikeradio.me. And on my website, I have a link to the archives page. On, on that particular page, I have hundreds of authors listed there. And I invite you to go on that particular page and look and see if there's any particular author um, and or topic that may be of interest to you and uh, send me off an email and, and let me know. And I'll see if I can go ahead and get that author on for a blab. And you want to go ahead and uh, also be able to um, extend, you know, that particular type of, of platform to, to them as well. So uh, those are, are a couple of the things that, that I would I have planned for Blab. Uh, one of the things that I, I do want to um, also let you know that that I'll be doing is the um, uh, what, what is it. Uh, Let's see here. Hmm. 
anyway, that one kind of <laughs> kind of escaped me right now. But uh, uh, you, uh, oh, there there is a um, a good friend, uh, J.M. DeBoard. Uh, he just just spoke with him or texted him, and he um, indicated a, a possible interest in doing a a blab with um, a woman, Amy Cope. And, and myself and each of those people um, and uh, work with dreams and and you know how to identify analyze your dreams how to put your dreams into to uh, use so we're going to go ahead and also uh, talk about that so uh, those are a few of the things that i hope that uh, you will join us for and as i mentioned uh, i did have last year my my uh, goal or my project for that year was working with essential oils. This year, my project is doing a book called the uh, Caregiver Tribute Book. Uh, this idea came actually at the end of last year. And I have worked with many people who are caregivers, you know, and to be a caregiver in today's society is becoming more and more prevalent there you know, with an aging society. Many people are finding themselves in the role of caregivers. Um, a lot of people aren't trained for it. And with that comes uh, a lot of um, sometimes angst and anxiety. Um, but there's also good things that happen as a result. My, my, my tribute book is, is a collection of stories where I will, where the caregiver will either write the story themselves or I will interview the caregiver and I, I will put together the story for them. And the idea is, uh, first and foremost, is to give tribute to the person for whom they are providing care. Uh, you know, quite often we, uh, the caregiver books out there, focus a lot on the caregiver, which is good, which is important. But also we, you know, sometimes fail to recognize that there is a special spirit behind the caregiving, the person for whom we are providing care. So this particular tribute book is going to highlight that individual for whom care is provided, a, a kind of a tribute. You know, who is that person at the soul level? You know, why, why is it that we are finding ourselves to be, you know, being their caregiver? And then with, in, in addition to that, there's also going to be uh, a section for the caregiver to talk about some of the challenges that they have encountered in the process of being a caregiver. And then also some of the joys that, that they would, uh, that they have encountered as a result. And then possibly if they have any advice or uh, resources that that they maybe uh, feel would be beneficial for a reader, that they'll provide those as well. Uh, for this particular tribute book, I'm looking to have 20 to 25 stories. Uh, right now I've got six, um, but uh, the, the, the ones that I have right now, I'll give you an example. I have uh, one woman, um, she is a caregiver for her husband who had a stroke and in, in that particular challenge, you know, she indicated that um, one of one of their main challenges are uh, getting a care uh, an aid for caregiving that's honest and someone who that they can trust. They've not had very good luck with that. Um, and but one of the joys that she um, realized through this process is the fact that she is a stronger spirit, stronger than she would have thought that she might have been otherwise. Um, there's also a, a woman who's a nurse who provided care for her mother. And, you know, in that particular case, the mother had uh, stage four cancer. And, and the nurse did, you know, recognize that the, the challenge the, uh, of being, providing physical care was, and the fears around that weren't as challenging as was the emotional and spiritual aspect of being a care provider. And in that particular case, she um, had several uh, things that she wished she would have done, like, for example, uh, prepare a bucket list um, for her mother so that they could go through and check off things as the mother accomplished them so that there was a sense of actually, quote, taking care of business. 
Um, and then also in that particular one, there was um, a case of unresolved family relationship issue. And you know that the idea of, of trying to help um, an individual through that, um, but um, you know, uh, allowing the person who is who's about to pass on to to do so in peace. Um, one of the things that she the, the benefit or one of the positives is, is that she she was very um, thankful that she was able to be there to provide the care. And that, you know, to let her mother know that she was loved at that particular time. Um, and that also that um, to, to be able to treat someone like she would like to be treated. So it's one of those cases where, um, you know, uh, providing care where, you know, you um, the ultimate is, is to know that you know, this is how I want, would, if I get to that point, this is how I would like to be taken care of. Um, there was also a woman who, uh, one story with, with her boyfriend. Um, it was one of those cases where she didn't even like the man before they became uh, in a relationship. But when it came down to the time of him uh, being ill and then eventually passing on, she was the care provider. And in, in that particular case, you know, she recognized that even though he may have been a difficult person to provide care for, that uh, during that particular process, her intuition and insight strengthened, um, which was a gift. And, and also to the recognition that um, it was uh, unconditional love. Unconditional love was there and that she was able to provide that. So those are a few of the stories that I've already gathered so far. And so if, if you know of anybody, anyone out there who is a care provider or who was one and would like to share their story and, and actually um, they can go ahead and contact me and you can contact me at my, web, through my website, which is www.biteradio.me. And uh, I would be happy to, to speak to someone to include that. But that's this year's project. So um, again, you know, these are some of the things that I have planned for this particular platform. Uh, so again, I would invite you to thank you for following me. Also, please share this with your friends. And if there is uh, any particular type of topic that you would like for us to blab about, I'd be happy to entertain that idea. And you can contact me. And again, go ahead and visit my website www.byteradio.me and go through uh, the archives. And look, I've got several hundred authors listed alphabetically. And you can go through and you know see if there's someone you recognize who you would like for me to approach uh, to do a show. Uh, also, there is a drop-down menu on that page that lists the titles of the show. So if you don't know of any, any of the names that are listed, you can go through and scroll through the, the titles and see if there's any particular topics. And, and I'd be happy to uh, go ahead and, and contact these people and have them on for a, a, a blab, a little chat. Uh, so anyway, that is what bringing inspiration to Earth is all about. And I hope you know that you will join us and that you uh, continue to tune in and anyway i look forward to sharing with you so thank you very much and i'll be blabbing with you later on